Well, here's my Dumont tube radio once again. I think it's made an appearance in a few videos. I'll turn the volume down before I get clubbed by the copyright police. I just wanted to make a quick video to show you something actually rather concerning that I just discovered about it. Um, so you see I got this external antenna hooked up to it. It's an old VHF TV antenna from an old uh, TV, old CRT TV that's long gone. Um, and I noticed something the other day when I went to try to adjust it, you know, to get better reception. I noticed it uh, kind of felt like it was vibrating at around uh, 60 hertz. And I'm just like, yeah, I don't have a path to ground, do I? I don't think I want to know what it would feel like if I did. <laughs> so, I advise this little test. Uh, I've got this, uh, let's see if I can get out of the shadow, get out of the, the light so I can not have a shadow on it. Got this multimeter here dialed to the uh, hundreds of volts AC range. And I have its negative lead crammed into the uh, ground prong of that IEC cable here, thus allowing me to do this one-handed, in other words, with the camera. And I figured I would just, to double check, just do that. And lo and behold, look what we get. It's not the full 120 volts, but it is damn close. Definitely more than enough to give you quite the shock if you had a path to ground when you touched that. So yeah, I think I'm going to be disconnecting this antenna. <laughs> Somehow I would have hoped that the hot chassis of that radio wouldn't uh, make its way out here, but uh, apparently it does. So this setup is not exactly feasible anymore. <laughs> I don't think we uh, really need two giant 120 volt uh, prongs coming out of my desk here. So um, yeah, I'm going to have to do something about that. But either way, I uh, hope some of you maybe found that interesting. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for more uh, random videos like this, hopefully not involving hot antennas.